Good morning, YTPC. Philly Pepper Mike here. Hey, it is Monday, January 24th. Currently 25 degrees, going up to 36. Sunny. Today I'm smoking my Radice Rind Billiard. It's got that kind of like ruby, ruby finish they have. Smooth rim. <clears throat> and in it today I'm smoking Siemens Sample B which is a, some sort of burly blend. There's uh, seven of them, I believe. Whatever this is, I don't really care for it. Um, it's really flat. <clears throat> Not a lot of sweetness to it. Kind of one dimensional. <laughs> This is the type of burley that I, when I smoke a burley, I go, yeah, I don't like burleys. It's this one right here. Um, sweetness at all it's just um, not, not that great if I had to take a guess I'm thinking maybe this is Solani aged burley flake or Wessex burley slice one of those two that's because, to me, the like the one that I smoked, Sample A, to me was was much more enjoyable. It had more of a Virginia sweetness to it, which is why I thought it was either the Amphora or the HH Burley Flake. <coughs> and if, cause I'm, if I'm not mistaken, and again, I could be completely wrong, I'm pretty sure like Burley Slice from Wessex and Solani H Burley Flake are just straight Burleys. sure the other two have Virginia in them. I know the Amphora definitely does because you can taste that Amphora Virginia sweetness. But I, but that, like that's why I don't like <clears throat> straight burly flakes. It's just too one-dimensional for me. It's too like um, like kind of, I don't know how else to describe it, kind of like, like that metal aftertaste in your mouth. Again, take all this with a grain of salt because I could be completely wrong about all of this. <laughs> because Burleys and I uh, have not spent a lot of time together. But yeah, this is the one. This one is like just leaves my that that aftertaste in my mouth I don't care for. 
it's kind of bland and one dimensional. So anyway, on to uh, other things. I hope everybody had a great weekend. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I ended up fighting my... Uh, I called my buddy who's an appliance repairman. My washing machine stopped uh, stopped working, stopped draining um, on like Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> So I called him, I was like, you know, he's going to come over and pull, you have to pull the whole thing apart. It's a stackable, I have it like in this like little like laundry room, kind of almost closet type thing. So my other buddy came over um, to help me get the dryer down and then we ended up just starting to take it apart. We found that there was this fake quarter, this toy plastic quarter in like completely blocking the actual pump hole and I don't know how it even got in there because physically it's it was like impossible we had to break it to get it out there was just no way that I could see this thing get in there but somehow it got in there I don't know how long it's been in there you know if it was in a different angle whatever so we did all that we we also replaced the the door seal when we did that which is a pain in the ass um, it's got this big spring on it put it all back together, put everything back up. I had to hook up the dryer. It's got a steam hose, all this long story short. Put it all back together and it's leaking. So we're like, oh. take it all back apart to find out that the door seal we had on like too far, we had to take it off a bit and then re clamp around it. So we fixed that. That was like a few hours of my Saturday, which sucked, but saved myself probably a couple hundred dollars in service calls. Um, and then uh, I went to uh, this local, somewhat local cigar shop, B and B, up in uh, Lake Chestnut Hill area, Philadelphia. Um, awesome store. Uh, lots of like <clears throat> Roma Craft and Black Label Trading Company and uh, Black Studio Works, and just a really nice selection of cigars. A lot of cool guys in the lounge. Drank a little whiskey. It was, uh, it was a good time. Then yesterday, we, me and my buddy went down to uh, Widmere's, which is a local, right, right by my house, just to smoke a cigar, not in the freezing cold. So it was, uh, it was fun. It was a nice, enjoyable weekend, aside from fighting with the washing machine. I got an amazing package from my buddy Pete. We did another trade, and... Um, Man, some of the cigars that he sent me are just unbelievable. Got a, a, a Cuban and like just a bunch of like rare, you know, rare stuff or hard to find stuff. <clears throat> so, super pumped on that. I got my, uh, after watching Brian from Cigar Obsessions, I ended up getting, uh, putting all my stuff in my uh, new Air 1500. I was breaking it in and he's like you don't really have to do that you know being that it's self humidified and it's just drawers so I was like, okay <laughs> I have to reorganize it there's so many cigars that's it's ridiculous but anyway hope you guys had a great weekend too um, this is getting a little bit sweeter as I go down the bowl A little bit more, uh, how do you say, uh, tolerable, I would say. Definitely not something that, like, I just don't like the way that it, like, that dry, that dryness, the way, that, like, the, the mouth feel. I feel like I have to like constantly take a sip of coffee to like cleanse that off my palate. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Yeah. 
I don't know, man. I guess I'm just not a burly guy. Like I said, McBaron Golden Extra is really the only, like, burly blend that I, like, legit enjoy and smoke and actually sell her. But I think because that has, you know, McBaron Virginia's in it, it's got enough sweetness to keep me, to keep me, uh, satisfied or interested. Like I said, I, I could just smoke Virginia's and Virginia Periques. I mean, it's basically all I really do smoke. <clears throat> Aside from like a, a Lakeland here or there. I don't really do Burley, so. So I would say as of right now, A is in the lead, followed by B. Um, I only did two. Obviously, so right now. A was okay, B was meh. It's gotten a little bit better, but it's still not enjoyable. got for you today guys um heading into work i think my head tags out another day which really sucks because we're so busy and i kind of like we scheduled assuming or he said he'd be back today thinking he'd be back today and then he texted us last night and was like dude i really kind of need one more day like get these headaches and get dizzy guys have a great day a great start to your week um, I'll be posting on the new age pipe smokers page tomorrow for semen sample 3 or semen sample C all these damn semen samples it's kind of gross one would get the wrong idea I'm just gonna post the in the video semen sample B <laughs> I hope YouTube doesn't flag it but anyway, guys, have a great start to your week. Have a great Monday. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.